Good risings, good wisings, kings and queens. How are you doing this morning? I'm glad you guys are tuned in with us, and uh, thank you for everything that you guys are doing for us. Uh, we're starting the new year off right. Happy New Year to everybody. Amen. Uh, amen. And just thank you for just everything. I'm gonna start it off in a quick little prayer because God told me to do that in the come scripture on, myself. Come on now. Okay. Come on. Thank you, God, for waking us up this morning. Thank you for blessing us to see another year, God. Ask you to continue to watch over us, continue to be in us, continue to bless us throughout this year to do something positive and productive, God. We rebuke anything that's not of you. Amen. Amen. Then I'm going to read a quick scripture. First Thessalonians 5, 16, and 18. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in, G in Christ Jesus for you. This is your will. Long as you rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and give thanks in all circumstances, you will be informed. Amen. Now we're going to have a uh, pray a scripture from Alea, Princess Alea. Wednesdays, 
9 a.m., 7 p.m. Make sure you tune in for that. Sunday is 9 a.m. Tune in for that. And if you need any kind of prayer request or anything like that, make sure you inbox us. Now we're going to have Princess with Kayla come up and do the mission statement. Amen, amen. Come on, Princess. Do your thing. One worship, one praise stands for we have not worshiped, we have not prayed. Started by God, revealed to Messenger Jane, Queen Vashti. The two started this ministry to reach the ones that are from the same background and or the ones who are looking for spiritual teaching. This ministry will help all that will love to grow and go forward in the name of the Father in heaven. One worship, one praise is pronounced. One worship, one praise to symbolize that we all must be in one spirit to come together in one worship with one praise to our God. So all are welcome to join us in one in unity with oneness. In this ministry, we will address each other as king, queen, prince, princess, in honoring of the power and strength that is within us. Amen. Good job, good job. Y'all give it up for Princess LaKayla and Princess Alea and Prince Armani. We want to thank you guys again for joining into our worship this rising. We are a streaming service here at One Worship, One Praise Discipleship Center. We only teach and preach the Bible. And again, I would like to welcome you guys in on uh, what my wife was saying. I like to piggyback what she was talking about. And that's every Wednesday, every first Wednesday, every first Wednesday, we have prayer. Prayer at 9 a.m. each uh, Central. 8 a.m., I mean, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. And every Sunday rising again, like she was saying, y'all come on in and, and join in with us and get hype with us, because that's what we do here. We don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't sit around and lollygag, and we get it in and let the Spirit come on in in us, and we do what God wants us to do. But that's neither here nor there. I want to know if everybody is ready to worship. Hey, is my praise team ready to worship and praise? I can't hear y'all. I says, y'all ready to worship and praise? I can hear old shorty, man. Let's do this. Let's do this. We're going to go ahead and get into our praise and worship. Come on, shorty, man. You know where you got to go. Let's do this. We're going to all stand up and... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Somebody need a mic. I don't think need a mic, don't they? Hallelujah. You wanna play the beat? The beat, the beat. Here we go. Y'all ready? Let me let me let me step over to the side so we can all get up in here. Let's do this. Y'all ready to get it in? I know y'all is ready, cause we've been ready. Y'all ready? Let's get it. We're blacks in the city. We're blacks in the city.
I know you've been crying. I know you've been stressing. I know you've been wearing it. I know you've been trying to guess and figure. But let God guess and figure. Let God do the button. Let God do the ideally. Let God do the thinking. Let God do the movement. And show. And it's you're going to see that you are blessed. Hallelujah. God is good. I'm, I'm here to tell you. I'm a witness. I'm a living witness that God is good. But you got to let him do what he do. Let God do what he do. You got to step out of the way. Quit trying to make a way. And let God give you the way. Where he already gave you the way. Go the way. The truth and the life. Hallelujah. All you got to do is believe and you shall receive. That's all you got to do. All you got to do is believe and you shall receive. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This year, Happy New Year to everybody. This year is going to be an amazing year for One Worship, One Praise, Discipleship, Streaming Center. Because God has given me a revelation. He gave me the revelation that all I got to do is keep pressing, keep pushing. Don't stress. Let God handle the test and the rest and you shall be blessed. That's all I got to do, I'm telling you. I'm, 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 I'm a living witness that God is amazing. I'm a living witness that I am blessed. That there is a such thing as being blessed. That there is a such thing as holding on. That there is a such thing as all that you have to do is believe. There is a such thing. Grab a hold on to it. Grip it. Grab it. Hold it. Hallelujah. Set in your seat, son. We got the little preacher in the background. He, he, he got his seat back here, y'all. He getting ready. I, I, he, he already, I got one already. My, my little cousin Armani, he asked me. He said, it was a while back when they first came. He said, now how do you know when you are being called? I took a, a wrong thought. I said, this little dude. He ain't even nothing but five years old. Haven't even opened the Bible to see what the Bible was about. But he already knew that it takes to be called. It takes someone for God to call. Huh, take the baby shoe. <laughs> it takes God's call for you to move according to the spirit. No matter the position. You can be a usher, you can be a deacon, you can just be serving in a church or in the community, but it takes the calling of the Alpha and the Omega and a young boy. To, this was at the beginning of the last year. That's what I'm saying. 2021 going to be amazing. I didn't say amazing, I said amazing. It's going to be amazing. But yeah, he asked me that and I, I still didn't know what kind of answer to give him, but I just been praying. Because this young boy asked little old me, just me, well, yeah, Reverend Bassey Pastor, asked me, what and how do you know that when you're called? We was asking the children um, what they wanted to be for when they get older. He didn't say what he wanted to be. He asked me a question. He answered a question with a question. And I was told you can't do that, but the question that he asked was really important. And he probably really wanted to know. And I'm just praying that God give me the answer. Or he see it in one of these messages and and and, and take take heed of his calling. Because it's there, because he want to ask. God ain't gonna reveal something to someone and not be useful. But yes, I'm not gonna be before you know I gotta get out of this jacket. First and foremost, let me get out of this jacket with a little preacher down here. Come here, man. But yes, um, I ain't going to be before you long. Y'all know I ain't long with it. Like I told y'all, right? look, we get in, get out. We, let the, we get in, let the spirit do what he do, and we get away from it. That's how you got to do it. You can't be playing around a lot of games. But yes, I'm going to send up a prayer. Then we're going to go into this beautiful passage I believe God has given me to uh to go forth with y'all don't mind that little baby noise that's my my little king back here he preaching too but yes god is god is amazing god is amazing 
God has done some things in our lives, me and my wife's lives, that we have never seen before. That's how I know it's God. Never thought of it, but that's how I know it's God. God in heaven, we come to you thanking you for this rise and thanking you for protecting us while we were lying down sleep before the rise. I ask you, God, to just help us, bless us with the revelations or the, 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 the things that we need to accomplish this life journey. God, I ask you to reveal to me what you want me to speak and or say through this message. Touch the viewers. Touch everybody viewing at home or wherever they had on their jobs, riding to work, listening in. And I ask you, God, to just protect us all that are under the ring. We rebuke you, Satan, in the name of God in heaven. God, we ask you to just guide my thoughts as you reveal it to me. And bless them to be delivered how you want to be revealed. In the name of God, we rebuke you, Satan. Thank you, God. Amen. But yes, um, first I want to give a Honest to God who's first in my life, and also uh, to my wife that's been helping me since I started, since I became saved, before I became saved, she's been a, a grateful help, but it's been more since I started walking this journey that God has given me, and I want to thank these babies, and I want to thank Rock of Praise Ministry, that's my dad, Bishop Vancey, down in Lamar, Texas. For all the guidance and the things that he does for me and, and schooling me and trying to keep me from, from going down the wrong path. Yeah, but yes, that's neither here nor there. But today I want to speak on processing the development. What I say, say it with me. Say processing. Come on, y'all. I can't hear y'all say processing, processing. the Development. development. Processing the development. Now, the reason that I believe God has wanted me to speak on this is because since I uh, he revealed this ministry to me and my wife, I have been speaking in what you call a series. Last year was the series of the baby stage. And this year is the series of the cocoon stage. So we're in a series of cocoon stage. That's a the title of the series. And the first sermon is going to be the process, processing the development. So processing the development. But I believe God gave me this because I believe I had to sit back and evaluate how much God has counseled me to be developed where I am at. And I had to realize that you cannot skip through the process. So I had to go through a process. Then I had to process the processing of the development. So what are you saying, Jesse? What I'm saying is now that we have the counseling, now that we are getting ready to go into another year, there is counseling that took us to this point. And now we have to Put it into the membrane. We got to realize all the things that God has blessed us with, all the counseling and things, because if we don't acknowledge and realize all the revelations that have been given to us through counseling, how can we utilize it for the next level? So I believe God giving me this because it's, it's time to rumble. Now that I have developed you to this point, it's time for you to process that I have processed you to this point to where you are at. And where you are at is going to help you to get where you need to be with the counseling that I have given you. Wow. So I was talking to my wife and I was, we was talking about how the years used to go, go by fast but we didn't know what we used to do in the years when we wasn't saved. They go by so fast, you be like, dang, what was I doing? What did I do on such and such and such and such and such? But since we have been saved, we have been able to see the process develop itself. We have been seeing the year go past. We have been evaluating what we have been going through to get us to the next level. The only way you will know that you're missing something for the next level or you have everything to get to the next level, you got to evaluate. You got to process. 
put it into processing. So that's what I believe God has given me this topic for. Because now it's time for me to process the development. Uh, uh, it's processing time. It's to, and, 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 and check, check, check. Now I have the, def the, 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 the definition of process. I have two Webster definitions. And I want you guys to really pay attention because it is important that we start processing the things that have became before us. The things that we have seen and are heard. Because in our spoke, in our felt, in our taste, in our touch. Because them things can be utilized to help us. To graduate us to the next level. That's just like in school. Kindergarten is going to help you in the first grade. Or not even. Kindergarten is going to get you ready for the first grade. So now that you are getting prepared to go to the first grade, Armani, now you got to process all the things that you had from the kindergarten to help you in the first grade. So processing the development is important. You got to understand that all the knowledge that was given to you in kindergarten is going to be valuable for you in the first grade. That goes on with you, Alea, and Kayla. All of the information that you get from the first grade and help you to the next grade. But yes, the, 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 the definition of process, it says to perform a series of mechanical or chemical operations on in order to change or preserve it. So, you go through a process of development because God is trying to preserve you. He wants you to know that you are importing to him. Now, let, 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 let's do this. Let's, 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 let's look at the next definition of process. Then I'm going to go into this biblical. We're going to look at the next definition of process. This is to, to deal with using an official and established procedure. So God is giving you an established procedure. This procedure has already been in existence. Not just for me, it's for us all. Now that we know that this procedure or this process that God is using for us to receive the counseling so we can get closer to the counselor it, it to help us to receive it better. Now look, look, look. And, and the first definition of process I'm getting to the text. Just hold on. Let me break it down a little bit more. I'm coming. I'm coming. We're going. Now look. In the first definition of process it says in order to change or preserve it. Now let's look at this definition of preserve. Alea, preserve. To maintain in its original or existing state. Gotta hear what I said. God is wanting you to maintain how he created you. He said I want you to be how you were when I walked with you before you were born. Before you became into existence of earth. That's how I want you to be. Just like me. I created you in the image of me. So I want you to be as me. I'm going to preserve. I'm going to maintain you so you can keep your existence. Again, now, look, look, look now. We're in the series of speaking on the cocoon stage. And today's topic for the cocoon stage is processing the development. Now, 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 look, 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 look. Now we are at the, the edge of going to the, to the, to the, to the first grade, Armani. We got to realize, we got to understand. And, and, and once we do the evaluate and and, and and we got all the education and we're waiting at the, the finish line. It's our time. Now, now that what they had, you got to use what they gave you to get to the next level. Now, what do you say? 
as you start to process things. It's not just for you. You are developing to help the next. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now let's go into the text. Now we're going to go into Joshua. Let's go on to Joshua, the first chapter. We're going to Joshua 1. Now, remember, we're speaking on the processing, on processing the development. You got you to gotta understand before you go to the next level. So you got to process. But yeah, again, we were on the series of the cocoon stage. Now, being in the cocoon, it doesn't mean that, 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 that you're going to starve. It doesn't mean that you won't see daylight. It doesn't mean that you're going to rot away because God has preserved you. He's preserving you. He has saving you. He has made this established for the other butterfly also. So when we are in this cocoon stage, now is the time to soak. And it's the time to sit back and receive, have a conversation as we are processing the development that we're going through. Oh, excuse me. Uh, now what the, 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 the caterpillar now is into the cocoon. The cocoon is the stage before the butterfly. Now the 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 the, 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 the caterpillar has became the cocoon. He has to realize that the next step, all the things that he has gathered before becoming the cocoon is going to help him once he establish those wings to become into new life. Now let's go to Josh away. I like the old Josh, man. Josh, uh, Josh, cool. Watch this. It says, Josh, the first chapter, first verse, it says, After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Josh, Son of Nun, Moses, eight. Moses, my servant, is dead. This is, this is, this is, this is after the, the, the death of Moses, where, where uh, Joshua is stepping up. He's starting to process that he has been developed. Check this. He said, Moses, Moses is my servant is dead. This is God talking. Now and then, you and all these people, get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I am about to give to them. To the Israelites. Verse 3. I will give you every place where you will set your feet as I promised Moses. Your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon and from the great river to the Euphrates. All of the Hittite country to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Hold on. Check this. Check this. It said that in the first, this is this is this is uh his process. In the first verse of Joshua, wait, Joshua, what Josh the dog? What's up, why? Nah, but in the first verse, in the first chapter of Joshua, it was saying that Joshua was Moses' aid. Joshua was a man that learned from Moses. Joshua's process to get him ready to be processing his development was to aid Moses. Learn everything that I give Moses so when it is your time to process the development of leadership, you're going to be ready. So Mo Moses was a part of Joshua's process. But it said, down along it said, I will never leave you. I will be with you like I was with Moses. Check this. So if he was with Moses, God was with Moses, Joshua was Moses' aid. Guess else, who else he was with? Doing the process. Well, there are two or more gathered. Come on. This is the processing. 
Now, now he, he, God told him, you got to lead these people. Joshua, big dog Josh, you got to lead them. He said, I want you to know that I brought you to this position because I was processing you for development. Now it's time for you to start processing the development that I have given you. I gave you the ability to be a leader as you was with Moses. Because Moses was a leader. Now that Moses had trained you, led you all the places where I had guided him, you know of me. Now I need you to start processing leadership development. So God preserved him. The process, it says, to be preserved, to preserve it. Now, God preserved him. And, and it, to, to preserve means to maintain in its original or existing state. Joshua, it's going to be, he was the leader when he was with Moses, just as he is going to be after Moses left. He said, basically, I was putting the leadership jacket on you because I knew my, my great servant Moses' time was coming. I was going to call him to come home. So I had to have somebody aid Moses so they can be in development. They can be developed to be a leader because I know Moses was a good leader. This is God speaking in my perception. I know Moses was a good leader because I led Moses. So I made all of these things happen because I knew that my people were going to need somebody to be in leadership. Heavy, 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 heavy. Hallelujah. Amen. But yes, now, 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 let's keep going. As a matter of fact, I want to stop here. I want to go somewhere where I always go. Let's go to Proverbs. And this just off the, off the rip. Proverbs, the third chapter. This is a part of him. He said, I'm, I'm putting you through a process. I'm preserving you. I'm keeping you in your original state. He said, this is the guy speaking to Moses in my perception. He said, <coughs> the reason I gave you Moses is because I wanted you to lead. You were leading when you were with Moses, but you didn't know it because Moses had the, uh, uh, what, what would they say? The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the title. But now Moses is gone. We need somebody, but this is how it became. He told him, Proverbs the third chapter. This is this is this is uh, uh, me speaking, and, and it said it says, "My son, do not forget my teaching. Keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity, and bring you peace and prosperity." So now, look. We are talking about processing the development. Look, check. Now, Joshua, wait. Josh, big dog, what's up? But now, Joshua, he had understood that he had to learn. And he was seeking from Moses. He was up under Moses. Now, I know y'all seen the Frank Lucas movie. But like He was just like Bumpy and Frank. Frank, wherever Bumpy went, Frank went. Whatever Bumpy did, Frank did. Talking about Frank Lewis and Bumpy Johnson. Now, this is the same thing as Joshua was doing with Moses. Moses was Bumpy, and Joshua was Frank. Frank had to learn the business because he didn't want to be up under Bumpy. For too long. And then after Bumpy died, guess what? Frank stood up. I'm giving it to you broken down English where you can understand it. But listen, after Bumpy died, Frank stood up and took leadership. Just like 
Moses. I mean, just like Joshua and Moses. And now, Frank had to move just like Bumpy did. I remember watching the Frank Lucas movie, and Bumpy was a, a, a person that didn't play. And Frank told him, I gotta be just like Bumpy, and I can't play around with these jokers. They owe money, and I need them. And that's exactly how God wanted Joshua to be filling Moses' shoes. He said, I want you to be as on Moses, but you're going to be a little bit tougher. You're going to be a little bit stronger. And after you start processing that I have developed to be, developed you to be the king or the leader all along, then you're going to seek. You're going to receive all of the things that I have promised Moses. You're going to get all of the inheritance that was promised. But you can't forget the teaching. This is what he was telling him. He said, now I'm telling you this. I don't want you to forget nothing I'm telling you. Joshua, away. Big dog, Josh, how you doing? That's what he was saying. He said in verse 7, he said, be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Look, look, check, check. Look, he, he, this, is, this is what I was just explaining to you. He said, be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Didn't I say Joshua was like Frank? He was just like Frank to Bumpy. He said, when, 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 he said, listen, Frank, I want you to be careful to listen to everything I teach you. Because this is going to help you once I'm gone. And when I'm gone, the leadership that I leave behind is going to be stronger because the spirituality gets stronger each generation. Now, check. He said, now that you have the capability and you are ready to be strong, I need you to start processing. That means to preserve and stay in the original state that I have put you in. Don't worry about all of these trials, these tribulations, because the development that you're processing is greater than what you see and or feel and or hear. And the land that you walk on got nothing compared to where you're going to walk later. Hallelujah. Let's look at this, uh, this, 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 this word development. Now, we don't talk about processing and process and all of the, 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 the long we were talking. Now, let's go to development. Let's see what the word development is saying. Now, it says, look, look, development is this the process. Ooh. Ooh, the original state of starting to experience or suffer. I'm saying the original state because the process, to process means to preserve. To preserve means to have an original state. So what I'm saying is the original state of the original state of starting to experience or suffer from an alignment or feeling. Alignment is an illness. Typically a minor one. So Joshua went through this. Because I can I can tell and I know just like when Frank lost Bumpy, he was hurt. He was hurt. So that's the illness that came upon him going through the development or processing the development that God has given him. He said, Now I done lost Moses. And all of these, this is me speaking, and all of these people going to look towards me. He said, now, I, I know everything. I know everything Moses used to do, and I know how he used to do it. I even know where he used to sleep at. I know his mama's daddy. I know his brother's boy. This is what Joshua was saying. He said, I know all of these things. Just like Frank was saying when, when Bumpy died. He said, I know all of the People that Bumpy used to deal with. I know every ins and outs of how to move according to the land when it comes to what I'm doing. So, 
Joshua, he said, now I lost somebody that I deeply, deeply, deeply cared for. But I really didn't lose them because they taught me. They led me and guided me to be where I'm at. This is him processing the development of where God has got him. You know what I'm saying? Check. Look, he said, I know all of these things. And everything that Moses has poured in me came from God because he walked with God. And what is it? What is a greater feeling than to be around the presence of a person that is in the presence of God? So Joshua, he stepped up and he knew that he had to stay in the original state of existence. He said, now that I have processed the development of where I'm at, of where I came to, and I was getting prepared for this day when Moses would leave. And God was showing me through Moses that I am going to leave when he leaves. So now I'm ready. And that's basically what God has given me on processing the development. You gotta, you gotta realize all the things that has been going on throughout the year. It's called self-evaluation. Self-evaluation. You gotta evaluate yourself before you jump into anything. As you go along life, every day should be an evaluated day. You don't want to go into the next day missing something or going uh, not knowing that you need something to complete the next day. So every day should be evaluated to, so you can move the way God wants you to move. So you can be preserved. So you can stay in existence of how God wants you to be. But that's neither here nor there. I would like to thank y'all for vibing in to One Worship, One Praise, Discipleship Streaming Center, where we only teach and preach the Bible. And again, if you guys would love to donate, our cash app is up there. Again, we do not do offering and things of that nature. So if you would just love to be a blessing to help the other outreaches that we're doing in the community, and this year coming up is going to be a great year for those that are among the Holy Spirit. But no, that's neither here nor there again. But I thank y'all. And I want to see y'all on Wednesday rising at 9 a.m. This first Wednesday, it's by Bible edification class. But every first Wednesday we have prayer. And we're going to have it at 9 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7.30 p.m. Central, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. <coughs> Excuse me. But yes, I love y'all. God in heaven, we come to you thanking you for this rising. We thank you for this beautiful worship that we had today. We thank you for being amongst us. We ask you, God, to touch everybody that's viewing Bless everybody across the world that's going through some trials and tribulations. Give them the counseling to go around to come out of it. I ask you, God, to touch every ministry going forward. Touch Rock of Praise ministry. Touch uh, 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 the Neville's ministry. Can't forget about them. I ask you, God, to just guide us, strengthen us, be our strength. Be amongst us. Go throughout. Go with us throughout this day. Bless us to keep you on our mind and our heart. In the name of God, we rebuke you. Say thank you, God. Amen. Okay, now we need you guys. If you would love to donate, go ahead and donate. But we need you guys to keep viewing and supporting us as you do as usual. And I want you to know that this is your year. 2021 is your year. Stay beautified and stay glorified in the name of God. God bless.